Welcome to another episode of Cook with Brooke, the cooking show that doesn't have any food in it, but it's really all about what's cooking at the Air Force Enlisted Village. Well, we are very excited to be back on the air. It's been a while since we had an opportunity to do one of these programs, and I think it's going to be very informative and helpful for you today. Before we get started on that, though, I just want to take a moment and just do a little bit of bragging about this fantastic community that we live in. We recently were notified that we were the award winners for the finest on the Emerald Coast in five different categories. First one being finest apartment complex, the second one being finest retirement community, the third being the finest assisted living facility in the Hawthorne House, and then we were also the finest charity in the area, and lastly, we were the finest place to work on the Emerald Coast. So we're very proud about that, and I think it speaks volumes across the board, both in terms of the community itself, the people who work here, and the people that support us and the charitable work that we do here. So we're very grateful for that, and we're honored to be able to receive those awards. So today we had a great show. We're going to have a great show. Um, we're, we're going to start off talking with some, about something that you're probably not going to like, because uh, I certainly don't like talking about it, and that's service fee increases. Um, after we talk a little bit more about that, we're also going to roll over and we're going to talk with Terry, Bobby Joe, and Ryan uh, from their perspective areas and just kind of get an update about what's happening in those spaces. So first off, let's talk about service fees. Uh, we are planning, and you should have probably already received a memo uh, informing you that we're going to increase our service fees by 5% effective on the 1st of January. Um, we know that that's not ever a popular thing, um, but we're trying our very best to be able to maintain the um, service fee levels with the services that you provide, and then also to be able to balance out our costs. Uh, honestly, uh, everything is more expensive now. Um, you, we've seen this in uh, everything from workforce challenges to materials and availability, the supply chain issues we've had, uh, insurance, cost of fuel, uh, you name it, everything has gone up. And unfortunately, we've all seen what inflation has been doing to our economy, and uh, we're not insulated from that. So we have to be able to balance out those increased prices along with what our service fees are. And we've been able to strike a balance that uh, is going to fall in that 5% range for this year. And just for a point of reference, um, the cost of living allowance increase that took place on the 1st of January of 2022, so last January, uh, was 5.9% increase. Uh, at that time, we increased our service fees by 3%. So we were below what the cost of living allowance was, which gave a little bit additional flexibility for you. Um, this year, uh, they're projecting that the cost of living allowance for Social Security and military retirement benefits is going to be 8.7%. So again, higher than what we're increasing our service fees, and we're very aware that we have to be able to balance out uh, what we charge with individuals and our residents that are largely living on fixed income. So uh, we, we understand that. We want to be very careful with that. And so uh, we, we just want you to know that we're doing uh, our very best to be able to balance that out. And, uh, and Ryan Price, when he's on uh, in the next segment, we'll be able to talk just a little bit more about individuals that may need a little bit of assistance. So. Um, Looking forward to talking with both uh, both Ryan and then Bobby Joe and Terry as we go in. Uh, but before we do, I know that you all are probably chomping at the bit, just hoping that I'm going to come back with some more jokes. And as luck would have it, this is Thanksgiving month, and so we're going to pull out a couple of turkey jokes for you. So the first one is, why did the police arrest the turkey? Because they suspected foul play. That, that was good. What happened when the turkey got into a fight? He got the stuffing knocked out of him. <laughs> uh, and then why did the turkey cross the road twice? Because he wanted to prove he wasn't a chicken. All right, now that one was funny. I know you guys are all laughing. You won't give me credit for it, but I know you're laughing. So before we go over and we start talking with Terry, Bobby Joe, and Ryan, we're going to take a quick look over at Carrie Knife and Knife's Edge Restaurant and see what she has on tap for us in the upcoming weeks. Here we go. Hey everybody, welcome back. 
Well, that sure sounds good, what Carrie Knife is doing over in that fantastic operation at Bob Hope Village. So it has been a while since we've had an opportunity to do one of these shows, uh, and we have our team here today to talk a little bit about things that are happening. We're going to start it off with Terry at the Hawthorne House and just kind of get an update about what's happening over there in your space. It's a fantastic facility, but we'd love to hear a little bit more about what's happening in the Hawthorne House. Thank you. So exciting news. We have two residents that have reached the great age of 100 and one resident she'll be turning 101 this month so we're super excited about that we have two certified chair one fitness instructors with our activity staff and so daily when we do our chair yoga they're able to really provide some in-depth great instruction for those residents we have um, our surviving our eligibility for Hawthorne House is still the surviving spouses of military retirees, dependents of active duty military, and we've expended that to family members of retirees or veterans. So that really gives a great opportunity for many potential residents to come and see our location and, and really have a wide breath within our residents and being able to talk with them all. Well, that's uh, great to hear that um, the expanded eligibility, help being able to help more people is yes. a wonderful thing. Um, now, during the pandemic, there was a lot of stress on staff members. Your team was fantastic, um, and there was a little bit of difficulty with staffing during that time frame. Can you talk just a little bit about where you are now with healthcare staffing? Yes. Yeah, so the great news is, as of today, we're 100% for our direct care, our healthcare staff, and so I think that's amazing during the pandemic. It was extremely difficult. We did have to reach out to temp agencies, and even that um, was a struggle. But we, within the assisted living, we follow regulations within Florida. And so the minimum for direct care staff is five staff members per day for direct care. And so we feel that it's important to have more than just the minimum. So we have 12 direct care staff per day, and so that really allows us to provide care like we would want to provide it for our own mom. So I think that that's important. And luckily we, we do have enough staff to be able to, to fill those roles. Wow, that's fantastic. You do a wonderful job over there and the reputation of the Hawthorne House for providing that level of care uh, is well established. So congratulations to you and your team for presenting such a wonderful service to our residents. Thank you. Bobby Joe, let's talk a little bit about Bob Hope Village. Uh, you guys are hopping over there, aren't oh, you? Oh yeah, oh yeah. It's uh, November, so it's the month to be thankful for. Um, we're gonna we're gonna spread the thanks throughout the whole year. But uh, so this month, you'll see the newsletter came out, and we've got Thanksgiving um, quickly approaching. Um, lots of activities this month, but uh, you know we do provide the free meals. Um, Thanksgiving being one of them. Uh, so, and we are allowing guests to come back. So, you know, part of um, coming off of COVID, that's been a very um, blessful thing um, for our residents to be able to bring their families and come show them what a beautiful place that they live in. Uh, so it is um, free meals. We do ask that they sign up. There's uh, also a pickup. So we've given that opportunity for two sit downs and a pickup. Um, but so make sure you get signed up and get your ticket up at the front desk. Um, and we are, something I wanted to point out, we, it's the strict pickup time. So it will be on your ticket, but um, it's very crucial because we've noticed that a lot of people have been doing that and then they have to stand around and wait for a meal. So um, be mindful of those times. Um, something else that uh, we have going on that's exciting is um, in December we will be doing free transportation. Yes, I said that very loud, free transportation. <laughs> Even with the rising gas prices, um, that is a, something we're able to give back to our residents. So um, be on the lookout. We'll uh, announce that again um, towards the end of November and it'll be in your newsletter. Uh, something else that has been uh, a large part of what we're doing and when I say we it's the residents it's the staff and it's our brothers and sisters out at the pharmacy um, on Eglin and that's the med medication pickups not only do we pick up medications from the pharmacy but we're also going to Walgreens and CVS um, and Walmart I, all those places um, that we pick up about 500 plus medications a week um, and the pharmacy has uh, started some new processes, um, which is called Genesis, which I think the residents have seen or have gotten phone calls, automated phone calls. Uh, so the processes had changed. We are getting medications a little quicker than prior um, to us getting them before. So it's a little learning process. We appreciate the patience of the residents and please understand the patience that it's taking for our staff members as well to make sure that we're following those. 
Uh, something that also is different since COVID has been our security guards, um, meaning they're on duty 24 seven. Um, so you see their presence at the gate and obviously them out doing rounds. So when I talk about thankful things, I tell you, um, the staff here is just absolutely amazing and we do it because we love our residents just so daggone much. And um, I tell you, lots of events coming up, be uh, on the lookout and um, be ready to sign up, be ready to be active. Um, we know that this is a time of year that things, you know, we start to think about the ones that we have lost. Um, so it's very important to know that our staff is there for you. We're going to um, add some things on the calendar, some different activities to keep you busy, to keep your minds free, and again, goes back to just being thankful. So. And along with the, the season change, um, uh, I just was thinking about the, the Medicare open season. Mm -hmm. So that's another th period right now and uh, and you have in the past have offered people to help navigate that correct yes sir and, and we do um, Sharon obviously she's got great Medicare um, experience and the changes and if it's something that you have to do online or make telephone calls our um, staff is available to help um, we'll do some workshops we'll set up some different avenues to make it as simple and as uh, you know seamless as possible yeah, it is very, very confusing. So mm -hmm. I, yes, mean, sir. I think we all acknowledge that. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> so uh, thank you very much for that information. Uh, we also have Ryan Price with us here from our sales office. I would like to ask him just to talk a little bit about what's happening over in his area. If you look around the campus, you see a lot of people. You see a lot of new people moving in, and uh, it, it's a wonderful thing to see. So Ryan, what's happening over in sales? Well, we've. Uh, We've hit a new milestone. My team is amazing. Jennifer and uh, Mackenzie are great. Uh, okay, so we've we've kind of adjusted the way we do business. Uh, we do a lot more phone calls. We reach out to folks. We learn about them, their needs, their wants, uh, their life history a little bit, and just talk about the stories. Figure out what's the best place uh, and the best size of the apartment for it. But it's really not the apartments that sells it, uh, if you will. Uh, it is the community. Uh, once we get them here for a tour, uh, then you all do it. Uh, we walk around, we have conversations, you all are very kind with your words uh, to us. Thank you so much for that. Uh, the, and then they get excited, they just want to move here immediately. Uh, so we're at 99, like I said, 99% full right now, thank you. Uh, and uh, I will tell you that the, unlike the Hawthorne House, which has changed their uh, eligibility requirements, we stay strict to uh, what we originally were. So it's the surviving spouses of Air Force enlisted retirees or those couples where at least one of them has retired as an Air Force enlisted uh, member. So uh, we're sticking straight to that. That's wonderful. Um, we do see people uh, as we go through and again we, we started off this uh, this section we were talking a little bit about um, service fee increases. We know that puts financial strain and stress on people. Um, what if people are concerned about their their income and the affordability of this community? Uh, what can we do to help them out? Oh, that, that's our benevolence program. It, it is a confidential program where very limited people know who's on it. Uh, it happens to be uh, managed by myself and, of course, approved by you. The, uh, uh, the basics for it is, and believe me, although your situation may seem like you're the only one in it, you're not. You're not, and that's why we're here, is to take care of each other, to continue that Air Force family, watching out for each other. The basic requirements are you must not have income greater than $30,000, which if this is a concern for you, you probably don't. And, and those assets we look at is how much you have in the bank right now. We look at do you own property, which most of you, you know, that are questioning this probably don't. We don't look at things like um, your car. Uh, we, was, we was talking about the rings. No, nope. <laughs> although some people ask me that. What about my wedding rings? Nope. They're beautiful. Keep them. <laughs> they're, they are yours. Uh, so it's really $30,000 is how you could get income to pay your bills right now. If you could liquidate it and put that, that's what we're looking at. And then it's your monthly or annual income. Uh, you cannot be pulling in more than $24,000 a year, which kind of equates out to $2,000 a month. If your only stream of income is Social Security, chances are you qualify at least for that monthly income. So, uh, but you, most of you see me out there and you've learned that uh, even though I'm eating lunch, that's, I'm there so that you can bother me. I mean, talk to me. 
Uh, you can come up and talk, and most of them do. Uh, most everybody does, and uh, it's, sometimes it's rumor control. Sometimes it's, hey, Ryan, can I come to your office uh, later on and talk to you about something? That works. That's fine. They're going to put up a, a phone number and an email address that comes directly to me. Nobody else sees that. Uh, you're welcome to give me a call. Stop me as I'm walking around the campus. Uh, if you can't make it to us, Bobby Joe's team can can bring you up. We'll come and get you in the golf cart, or, golf cart, or we'll just come. I'll come sit down with you and talk. Uh, whatever makes you the most comfortable. Uh, but yeah, love to hear the story. Figure out where you are and see if there's something we can do for you. Well, thank you, Ryan. That's the benevolence program. Uh, both in the Hawthorne House and in Bob Hope Village is really one of the foundational elements of our community. Benevolence, giving back, caring for people is what we do. So thank you all for coming in and talking with us today and joining me in the kitchen. And we'll be right back after this section. Thank you very much. Welcome back. Uh, great information provided today. Really appreciate Bobby Joe and Terry and Ryan coming over. And then we published out the information concerning the benevolence program for you. So if you have any questions about that, please don't hesitate. Uh, again, we know that uh, service fee increases are never popular. Um, uh, it's the, just kind of the situation that we're in right now in our world. So I just wanted to say thank you very much for everything that you do to make our community great. Uh, it's a wonderful place to live. We're very blessed to be able to be here. Uh, I want to wish you a happy Thanksgiving and a Merry Christmas in advance. We'll be back out with more of these videos in the near future. Uh, it's been a while since we've done one of them, but they're awful fun and hopefully they're informative to you. So again, thank you very much for everything that you do to make our community great. We're very blessed to be here. Thank you and have a great day.